Hi, hello, how are you? Amanda, St. Artist. We're gonna talk about summer. So when you've been getting color matched, I've been asking some people, do you plan on getting darker anytime soon? Typically people say, yes, I get darker in the summer. So I'll color match a smidge darker. So here we go. This is my winter shade. This is June. I need to melt my tin. But this is June and this is Sandy. Now it's not a huge difference, but it is a bit of a difference. So that's what I would do. If you were say June and you're planning on getting color, I'll probably say try Sandy. I wanna show you how to bridge that so that it doesn't look super dark on your skin. So that's what we're gonna do. There's two key elements to this. One, bronzer and two, brightening. Two completely different colors. And so going in between, now this is pretty spare, sparse, but this is white peach. It's what I've been using for my brightening, but then bronzer, two totally different spectrums of the color. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use the blend brush today. You can use any brush you want, but I'm gonna use the blend brush. And when I use this as my main highlight, I kind of think about sponging. So I'm gonna tap this into Sandy, the color that's a bit dark. I'm going to apply this, but I'm gonna leave this lower part of my jaw alone. And I'm gonna come up here and I'm going to apply Sandy. Now what I'm doing here is again, just sponging. I'm tapping on my color. I don't wipe into my tin. I tap and then I'm gonna blend this in and I'm gonna bring it over. It's gonna end up looking like this and not looking too dark. This is a little dark for me. You can kind of tell based off of right here, this is light. This is a little bit darker. So here's how we make this work when you have a lighter neck than the rest. My neck is always lighter than my face. And so putting on a color that's a little bit darker can be a pretty heavy contrast. And that's where bronzer comes in. And here's where the lightness comes in. I'm gonna go in on the small end. I'm gonna go into my brightening color, white peach. I'm gonna wipe this on the lower part of my jaw. You see how it's lighter? And I'm just gonna blend it up into that sandy color. And this will help with bringing that fade down to a lighter tone, okay? Then I'm going to just bring this up, get the coverage that I want. I'm going to go in with my detail brush. I'm gonna go into my contour. I use the color Indigo. It's my favorite contour and a lot of people are scared of it, especially in the winter. And I'm gonna bring this right here, go into my bronzer, tap that right up here. And there we go, I'm gonna flip it to the bigger end and I'm just gonna blend these together. I like the warmth that the bronzer gives to that cool indigo color. And I just think it sits really well when I'm trying to shade up. It's okay to have fair skin and use a dark contour. You just gotta play with it a little bit and find out how it works. Indigo is my favorite contour and I don't like being without it. And that's where it ends. I mean, that was pretty easy to blend and that's how easy this is. These are all creams. So they all work together and it's really nice. I am going to go in with the big end of the blend brush. I'm going into Madrid and I am going to smile so I could see exactly where my cheeks are. And I'm gonna tap Madrid on here and add a little pinkiness to that bronzer. I like my blush to be on the warm side. And I put bronzer with every single cheek color that I do. There we go. Okay, so how do we bridge the neck, which is light. <laughs> We're gonna take a fluffy brush. If you have a kabuki brush, that works. But if you have the bronzer, you probably got it with the collection. You're gonna take that fluffy end, you're gonna tap onto it. Now you could do this with a blend brush. You can do this probably with any brush. We're gonna have the half of the neck. We're going to apply the bronzer up here on the top half, okay? Start blending and then start pulling. So what this does is it warms up the neck in an area that's not gonna hit your clothes. And it's gonna be brought up under the jaw and then you pull down and let it blend and fade down. You can absolutely go as deep down as you want. That's not how far I go. I need to contour my jaw, just like that. That's how easy that is. I mean, these are creams. So if you want to try this, all you have to do is message me for a color match. I'm gonna take Charlotte Tilbury and get it done. That's how I bridge the colors together so that I can make it to summer without buying extra product. I mean, I can match it to your winter shade, but do you really wanna buy double? Probably not. And so I like to shade up just a skosh and then using your brightening is a really great way to rain that down. I have a little bit of a visitor. I'm gonna go into my main, just tap 
a little over. Oh, I haven't done my under eye. <laughs> Let's grab brightening. Hold on, I might have just dipped into bronzer there. Okay, brightening under my eye. There we go. Now I look like a human again. I was wondering why it looked a little bit off. There we go. Sometimes the phone can be very misleading. It's like something looks off. It's my under eye. Look at that. Oh, now it all just tied together, didn't it? There we go. This side is a little more pinky. So we'll add, build. There we go. Okay, now I'm done. Message me. It's just fun makeup, really. It's fun. Have a good day.